Hi, I'm Roger Night Demon, and this is What's on the Tape, Season 3, Episode... Oh, Episode? Oh, I always do that episode thing first, don't I always? Anyway, it's Volume 5, um, and this is the Zombie Bob's Emporium of Tat special. So Zombie Bob, or uh, my friend Andre, has sent me um, not one, but not two, but four tapes. Well, at least that's some of the ones. Um, I'm going to put it on the screen right now. This is what spent a little, spent a little bit of time doing, um, trying to work out which ones may or may not be Spectrum. Yeah. As you can see, I spent quite a lot of time going through tapes. But we found four, but because he's got such a reputation for actually sending me ones that don't work, I've actually uh, taken out the ones that are Spectrum. So we've got one that says Cyclone, and we know what Cyclone is. Um, Tapper is a game that I haven't played in a very long time. It's about tapping beer, effectively putting beer on things and sliding backwards and forwards. And I'm hoping it works, but it's only short tape, so I'm hoping we've only got the two that are actually on there. So that's first two. Um, then we've got this one up here. Yeah, which is a John Menzies. God, oh, John Menzies. Do you remember John Menzies? Um, do they even have John Menzies anymore? I know it was a retail distribution place, but I'm not entirely sure they still exist. Anyway, um, and then we've got... Um, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say what was on there. It says it has Jetpack. Well, that's a classic. We always know Jetpack's a good one if it turns up. And then we've got Ram Test, which is, um, I think, is a test of your spectrum to work out whether or not it actually works. So we'll try those. We'll see if those ones work. Then we've got our real, real mystery ones here. We've got this one here with nothing on it, but it's only C15, so hopefully we've got plenty to actually go at on that one. So we'll do that one as well and find out what's on there. And then, I was quite surprised by this. We actually had a memory. Rex. This is a Memorex C90, um, which actually had something recorded on it. Um, whether or not it loads or not, that's a totally different question, but I thought it was worth giving a try. So, we have lots and lots of tapes from, from the wonderful Andre to give a try to. I mean, he's a brilliant fella. Um, so, so um, we've got lots and lots of these to try. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to his, uh, his, his actual channel so we can have a look at it. But, to go with all of that, I found Chaos, and Chaos is one of my favourite games. Uh, do you know something? I remember, I remember uh, years ago I, when I got Chaos, um, a friend of mine literally wouldn't leave my house until he could borrow it for the night because he was desperate to play it because he thought it was the best game he'd ever played in his life, and he literally wouldn't leave. In fact, when when he did leave, he sat on the doorstep for the next two hours while <laughs> until I gave in and gave him the tape and said, "Go on, then you play it tonight, and I'll play it tomorrow." Because I already loaded it on Spectrum by then, of course. So um, yeah, Chaos, absolutely amazing game by Julian Gallup, um, and then we've got. To, um, Zythum, thumb, thumb, or something similar from Mirosoft. Never heard of that one. But we can give those a try. I'm actually quite looking forward to doing that again, actually. Um, but without further ado, we're gonna. I'm gonna stick at least one of these in the tape drive, and we'll, we'll we'll give it a try. We'll start with the cyclone, I think. All right. See you in a second. <laughs> okay. So. First tape is in the drive, and I had to giggle there when I when I couldn't get the tape drive to close, so I left it in because it's it's kind of like an outtake without being an outtake. Anyway, so this is the first one. Um, I hope you like the intro sequence there because I put in the beginning, you know, the the bit on uh, the trying the other tapes, and I also put um, Zombie Bob pointed to what's on the tape because that of course it's, it's a Zombie Bob special. This one, and as I say, a link in the description below to to, to Zombie Bob's um, Emporium of Old Tat, so you can have a little look at that. He's got some nice stuff. Stuff there and he has a really impressive hit squad collection i believe he only requires a couple of them um to, to complete the spectrum side of it one of which is stun runner if you got stun runner please contact um andre he's he's a lovely chap and he's desperate to get a copy of it anyway so without further ado let's give this a go so we'll go with all basics the best way to do it so we've got the first one which is the boots one which had um Cyclone on one side and Tapper on the other. So I've got Cyclone, so we'll give that a load now. Now Cyclone, um, I bought by oh, it's not TLL. Is it Vortex? I think it's Vortex, isn't it? Because TLL is um, um, Tornado Low Level, which is the which is the kind of which is the it, which is which is really good because you got the tornado. And, oh, oh, it's even better. It's not what it says on the tape. Oh, even worse, it doesn't load. <laughs> I'm so excited for a minute there. Come on, let's give it a go. So it's not even what's on the tape. It's even better. Oh, I love it when this happens. God. So Cyclone on the tape, Rambo on the, the on the load bit. Let's give this another try and see if this can, we can get this to want to work. Come on. 
This will be Rambo First Blood. Excellent. This is a Hit Squad game, actually. First Blood and Second? Is this part two? Oh, yeah. We're going for it now. Oh, no. Let's try it again. We're going to get it this time around. It's going to go this time around. Yeah, there was there was there was a part there was a part two was there and then there was a part three and then there's been some modern day ones as the Rambo four I think is the movie very violent Rambo four though I meant you to be fair I don't think any Rambo movie is not violent if that makes sense the kind of the the kind of showing the atrocities of war I mean just just remember though Rambo four having particularly horrific sort of um, killing fields type thing going on in the first bit it wasn't very nice I remember that I'm certain I actually loaded anything. Selected by Speedlock. Right, okay, so that hasn't actually done anything. Um, if we run it... If I press... Press break and I do run. Will that do anything else? Just just checking, see whether or not we can get any further forward. Oh, that's not a good start. I, to, I was looking forward to that. R Rambo for me is one of these. It's like it's like somebody took a movie license and then uh, and then did something with it that you would you, you not that you wouldn't not expect if that makes sense. They kind of they took a movie license and then they they stole from some other another genre. Um, for me, Rambo is kind of like Akari Warriors, and I think I think Akari Warriors. I don't know whether it was before or after it, to be honest. I think it's probably before it. Uh, Kari Warriors being an arcade game, you sort of top down view, ro running along, shooting things, and whatever else it is. And that was really quite good. You know, it was quite a good game. It was really an really excellent game, if I'm absolutely honest. Oh, come on! Right, I do have. I always have. I've got my backup here. We've got my backup routine for this one. So we're going to have a backup on this one. Because I definitely want to try this. So let's see. Let's see if Play ZX has got this. And we'll cheat again there, you know, see if we've got it. So I'll do a quick search. I'm sure they must have Rambo. I'm surprised if I don't. We do have Rambo by 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 Ocean Software. I have clicked on Rambo by Ocean Software. Right, we'll give that a whirl. Just take that tape out for a second, because that, that's cool. That'll probably be most of that tape, but we'll fast forward through it after we've done this one. So quite looking forward to this one. Nice. Right, so so there's a surprise. There's a surprise start starting position. Rambo on a cyclone tape. So that probably means the tapper on the other side is very unlikely to be there. Um so 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 that's fine. Got no problem with that. That's excellent. Right, I'm gonna press the play button now. Um and we'll do loader again, I think. See if loader will work. And Rambo. There we go. Speed loader. Speed loader or speed lock was it? I can't remember. There we go. Rambo. This is based on obviously the, on the movie of the same name, which I don't think. I don't remember it having the same sort of things. This is a. This is quite. I mean. It's often seen as kind of a uh, sort of bloody sort of disaster, not a disaster, but sort of bloody sort of war movie. That doesn't look good. I don't think it likes it. Let's try it again. We'll give it another try. We'll give it another try, and then we're going to give it up. We're going to try it forty eight k basic because I didn't like that. So I'll give it the old my old lil dit dit. That's what I used to call it as a kid. I didn't know there were speech marks, and to be fair, dit 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 sounds better anyway. So, um, stop that tape. Right, I'm going to push the play button again. We'll give it a try. Um, loading this again. Let's see if this works in 48k. May or may not, we'll see. Might be because there's a speed loader in it, or some kind of software protection. I don't know how it would know the difference, though, because it's just loading a tape. Ah, that's better. It must have been 48k it needed. Yeah, so Rambo the movie, as I was just saying there. Rambo the movie. Now, I, it, to be fair, I wasn't, it wasn't until a lot older that I actually saw that. A lot of my friends saw it at the time. Um, probably weren't meant to. They were probably dodgy sort of, you know, um, those videos that you used to get from down the market. You know, the ones where the lines went through them and the, they were copied like 40 times and then, and there was usually somebody eating popcorn or hoying something or somebody gets up and goes to the loo in the middle of it. You know the ones where somebody camcorded it in the background. Anyway, yeah, so... so um, I, 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 oh, it's, it's part two, this one. So, ah, oh, right, First Blood past Part Two. Oh, this is different than the one I'm thinking of. Well, first Rambo, anyways, is about a soldier suffering from PST, P, post-traumatic stress disorder. That's what it is, isn't it? P, post, PTSD. That's it. PTSD. God, 
Well, how, why was that so hard to spell then? Anyway, um, but yeah, he's suffering from that, and he'd come back from the Vietnam War. Well, Vietnam conflict, because it was never actually declared as a war. It was a conflict. Um, so it was often called a war, but it was actually a conflict. Um, and he'd come back, and he'd got um, a lot of um, psychological problems, and he gets blamed for something... I can't remember what it was. Death of somebody, or death of child, or death of the neighbour, I don't know. He kind of gets blamed for it, and, and, and then goes and hides in the woods, and it just becomes a cat and mouse game between him and the police. But to be fair, it's a story more, I think, more of, um, you know, his... his, his um, his treatment in the, the the military than anything else so so uh, yeah it's just it's that kind of thing but uh, of course it was the height of sort of um sylvester stallone's um sort of um, i don't know career in in these things so but i can't remember much about part two uh, to be fair I, I, it's not a series of tv movies that i ever spent an awful lot of time watching not not for any particular reason it's just never never really Wanted to. I like the Rocky movies. Don't get me wrong. I didn't like all the Rocky movies. I don't think anybody can like all the Rocky movies. Wasn't it five where he was sort of burnt out? Whatever else it is. But uh, I did like the re the, the Creed. Was it Creed they remade recently? And then there was Balboa, and that was was that the sixth or seventh? Oh god, I can't have lost count of it. Balboa, where he kind of fought the local champion just for fun, and that was a fun movie because it kind of was self aware. It was aware of the of the fact. That Sylvester Stallone is a man in his seventies now, sixties or seventies, one of the two. But a very old man fighting a very young man. Um, to be fair, it was it was quite, but it was quite fun. We really wanted Rocky to win, didn't we? We always did. Is that finished? This hasn't gone very well, you know, for a first one. That has stopped and not loaded. Brilliant. Great start. Okay. So, that, uh, that was Rambo. I hope you enjoyed it. It's actually a top-down sort of shooter. So, so I'm really disappointed by that, actually. That was, I, was, I was expecting something more from that. So, um, yeah, that didn't go very well. That's a bad start. Let's go back to the tape, anyway. Let's reset the, the, the old specy and go back to the tape. That's a disaster, isn't it? Even with, the, with a nice, pure image like that, you, you still can't... It still doesn't load. But to be fair, I think it's because I'm on a plus two A rather than... And even the B is a bit of a different different um, memory configuration. They, they kind of downsize the board on it. I'm just going to fast forward and see if there's anything further on past the Rambo bit, because Rambo's here. That's, that's Rambo still. Let's fast forward past this. That's a disappointing start. I apologise for that. I was hoping we'd actually load that. It was worth the, worth the attempt. We had we had we had two goes at it almost, or three or four goes actually. And this is the the nature of the beast with the with the what's on the tape. Okay, we're clear now. I can hear clear. We'll see if we've got anything else on this. See if anybody's jammed anything else on it. Maybe the jammed cyclone on the end of it. It's quiet so far. Very quiet. I wasn't sure about that Rambo anyway. You know, when we looked at the original, when the screen came up, there was a little bit of pink and some red in his face, which I didn't think should have been there, to be honest with you. It was translated to the Amstrad out of interest with almost these identical sort of, you know, reds and yellows sort of colours. It was just a bit of a shame, actually. Another one of those games that the Amstrad kind of missed out on when it could have, when it could have been so much more. Because um, Akari Warriors on the Amstrad is actually a, is, is quite a masterpiece, actually, um, arcade-wise. I must, must do a video on it. Right, nothing else there. Let's flip it over. This should be, in, according to the tape label, this, could, this is meant to be Tapper. But I don't think it's going to be. I have a feeling we're going to get something else here. And I'm hoping it loads. Let's hope it loads. I'll just rewind there. There wasn't much... Yep, there's goes the tape. And whipped him past. Okay. We're waiting. It's, it's going to happen. Tapper. It's an arcade game. I'm not sure who by. I can't remember. Um, but you kind of feature as a little barman, and he ha his idea is, is he's got to throw beers down the, 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 the... Oh, it's definitely Tapper, this one. Not Rambo. Right, okay. 
Hopefully Tapper will load. It's a game I, I think I've got in my collection somewhere, but I have no idea where. I've kind of had a bit of a... I've, I've been recently been collecting a bit more than I have been doing anything else. Now, um, thankfully, my daughter has, uh, has volunteered very kindly to help me tomorrow to sort my tapes. However, it, I suspect it will go the usual way of my... Oh, no! The usual way of my, my tape, tape sort of sorting, which usually is a case of me uh, getting them all out... And then putting them all back on the shelf because I can't be bothered to, to to order them alphabetically or any other particular way. So 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 I don't. I'm not the best when it comes to this kind of thing. I'm not the best at all. Right. Okay. Let's see. Come on then, Tapper. Let's give it another go. I wasn't sure that this one was going to go either because because the other tape side to the tape didn't go either. So it doesn't doesn't bode well. Very fast moving lines on the edge of the screen is not a good thing. You want nice, solid, sort of stable lines. It kind of shows you where it's at with its uh, its loading. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Sounds like what's that? That old lady out of um, Father Ted, old lady. Can't remember her name. The 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 the, the um. Oh. You've got to be kidding! Well, no, I, I don't. I'm. I have to admit, I'm o o overly surprised. To be honest with you, considering the other side of the tape didn't work, so I'm not overly surprised. Right, that one's out. Okay, we're gonna try Tapper from from ZX Play again. We're gonna, we're having we're having lots of fun here today. We, we, we are. We're just de definitely having fun. Are you having fun yet? Oh, we're having fun. Right. Okay. Let's go for it. Okay. Let's t Tapper. Come on then. We're gonna we're gonna load Tapper, U.S. Gold Tapper. Yes, let's play that one. Done. Right, push the play button. There's the play button pressed, and it's downloading it, and it's going for it. Let's hope it's not again the the, the plus plus two being a a bit of a uh, but being but plus two here being a bit awkward again. I have a grey, a um, couple of grey production lines, and they both and both need TLC. They both need to, to, to. I think they need to visit the doctor. I think they've, they've, I think they've got some. I think they've got. A, I think they're a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think that. I don't think they've ever been recapped for a start off. So you know, the capacitors have never been changed, and I don't think that they've ever. Don't think they've ever sort of had a clean. Nobody's been near them. I've opened them up briefly, but. Uh, Oh, this looks better. Oh, yes! Game, game, game! Right, anyway, um, so... <laughs> brilliant, we've got gaming going on. Um, yeah, no, they've never, they've never... I don't think they've ever seen anything clean, which is a bit of a problem. One of them's, one of them's definitely been um, a smoker's computer, because it has definitely got that smell, and it's got that yellow tinge to it. I remember somebody... I saw this recently on... Uh, on where was it? Was it, it was on Facebook somewhere. Someone was selling a cartridge and they were selling it for less because it smelt funny um, uh, um, and, and it had been sent back several times by collectors apparently this is what it read and I can't remember where it was all this and, 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 and it had been sent back several times because it, it smelt funny now the owner of the thing said they didn't notice it and they weren't a smoker either they bought it you know in good faith from somewhere else to, to trade it on or whatever else it is but, the, but, but people didn't want it because it was a funny smelling thing I haven't that really weird. Anyway, this oh, it's an official arcade game from Sega. Sega one. Well, actually, it's not. It's Bally Midway who created it in the first place. But uh, Bally Midway used to create some really good stuff, actually. I mean, they they did the original Mortal Kombat, if I remember rightly. An official arcade game. Yeah, that's exactly it. And Tapper features in um, what's that movie? Wreck It Ralph. That's the one. Wreck It Ralph. I haven't seen the new one, but. I, I quite liked the old one because of the fact that it was a bit of a homage to some of the things that that we used to play as kids. I mean, there was it? There's even Road Blasters in one place, you know. Road Blasters and a number of other things. And I quite liked it. Um, I just it's it. The death of the arcade for me was as it is was a was a very sad day. But of course, you know, you can't. Yeah, I think you had to roll with the times when it came to the arcade. There was going to be a period, I think, where it was going to be a serious lull. 
Um, but the death of the arcade was a, was a, was a, was a terrible thing. I don't I don't I kind of miss them. I miss going down to. But you see, when, you know, arcades when I was a kid, they were kind of they were kind of dirty, nasty places. You know, the floor usually had cigarettes on it and chewing gum. You know, chew, stuffed into the floor, and they were tacky and nasty and and. Uh, but you'd only have in those things. You'd only have one or two um, gambling machines. You know, not not the vast quantities that you go to nowadays. In fact, every service station had a arcade area once upon a time. They didn't have all of these um, fruit machines and, and video pokers and whatever else it is that they do nowadays. And in fact, when I used to go to my local arcade, there was uh, there was some um, fruit machines, but there weren't as many fruit machines as there were arcade games. It's where I um, played, um, you know, Street Fighter Two Turbo. Um, a championship edition, I think it was. It was far too fast then, and I wasn't very keen on it. Um, but it was where I also played Snow Brothers for the first time, and you know, Time Pilot, and a few other things. You know, those kind of games. But it was, as I say, they were dirty and nasty, and you, you know, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and your your machine usually had sort of cigarette burns on it, and all this kind of stuff. And you know, you'd be lucky to find a, a non-bootlegged one. But anyway, um, yeah, just I just kind of miss it though, because I think they should have gone with the times. They should have should have turned into trendy coffee bars. Or almost, you know, and still had the arcade games but boosted the light a bit so that, you know, it's dark enough where you needed to play the games but boosted the light a bit and, you know, put a bar in there and just just go with it, make it if you can even family orientated. I don't know, because, you know, people like nostalgia. That's one of the wonderful things about it. Anyway, right, here's the beer thing. So, how do we play? The keys are I, P, Q, Z, N is fire. Can I change the controls? Alt control C, that good. Define keys, D. Right, I want to go left, right, up, down, fire, H to hold. That sounds good to me, I like that. Enter, no change. Uh, want to start, oh, S to start the game. Start the game. Sign on player, demon. That's me. I've never, I don't think I've ever played this on the specy. So I have to throw beers at these people. Make them happy, and I've got to throw. That keeps him happy. He's got a beer. Did I win? Oh, I did. That was quite pretty easy, wasn't it? I was expecting them to be more difficult than that. There we go. Beard them up. Beer them two up. Beer him up. Beer him up. And if they get to the end of the bar, we're in trouble, aren't we? Oh, I've no. Th I smashed the glass. That's why. Not allowed to smash glasses. Ah, right. Okay. Because obviously that's that's my job, isn't it? Two, three, one. Oh, smash the glass again. I'm rubbish at this. Good game, though. I can see why it's a proper arcade game, though. Just that sort of up and down, left and right. What can I do here, though? Why can I run up and down the bar? Why would I want to run up and down the bar? Oh yeah, doodle doodle doodle. All right, okay. You get a, get a drink, and your friend. You can't come back. No more drinking for you today. I'm gonna badden. You can drink. Yeah, what's this? I've got that. Beer, beer, beer. Beer, get away. Oh, I'm beer, the beer, the god, they're going good. I've been beaten up by the man on the bar. This is ridiculous. Beaten up by the man on the bar. I mean, this is a very harsh bar, this one. The fact is that they're, they're, they're hurting me because I don't give them a beer. Oh, no, I've lost. I've crashed the glass. Damn. It's a good job they all drink the same beer, isn't it? It really is. Did I get my name in the title? No, I didn't. Skill level easy. That's pretty good, that actually. I've never. I don't think. I. I think I own a copy of the original thing. Um. I think it's got a man sort of like the loading screen, left going left and right with his. We're looking for to, to surf beer. Like that actually. Don't think. As I say, I'm not entirely sure I've ever played it. I've seen the arcade version several times. I'm not. I don't think I'm. I've been the person to actually play it before. Anyway, so that was Tapper. Um. And that's the first tape actually. We've already completed one tape as we've gone along here. I'm just trying to get the other tape out the drive. Oh, come out the drive. Come out the drive. Yeah, come on out. 
There we go. Right. Out the drive. Right. Out the drive. That's the end of Tapper anyway. Right. Now I've got the um, John Menzies um, 12C. Com How did John Menzies end up with a 12C one? So a 12 minute one. Um, it's on the ram test side first. So we'll let, let's do the ram test to discover whether or not we've got ram in our spectrum. Could you get memory modules and spec? I bet you could, you know. You can get them for lots of things. So I wouldn't be surprised if you couldn't get memory modules. So we load it as the 128 and see what happens. Yeah, but, uh, you know, um, you, you know, extended sort of memory to put into the expansion on the back. I bet you could. I wonder how much use they were, though. Oh, yeah, there was, there was definitely one, wasn't there? It was that game, the Unicorn game or something similar. I can't remember the exact name. Unicorn? Somebody will correct me in the comments below. There was a game, though, called Something of the Unicorn, I'm sure of it. And it had another 16K RAM pack that you put in. And the game wouldn't load without that. However, there is a fixed version now, which you can actually load with this 16K, without the 16K RAM pack. But, but yeah, there was, there was this, had to have this RAM pack in, so you went up to 64K in your, in your, one, in your, in your 48K specy. It's the only one I thought of, though. Very expensive though. I think I think I think it retailed at sort of um, you know twenty or thirty pounds at the time, and of course that in today's money equates to about eighty or ninety quid. You know, it's it's a ridiculous sum of money probably at back in the day for 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 effectively a ram pack in a single game. I don't know how good the game was though. If you've played it, please put it in the comments below. Cause I'd be interested to know um, whether it was actually worth worth the, the. If you bought it, was it worth it? Was it worth it to play? Was it a game that was worth doing? Here we go. Oh, I've seen this. This is a modern bit of software. Where have you got this from, Mr. Zombie Bob? You've got this somewhere interesting, haven't you? You've picked this up because that's um, there's a website at the bottom of where you can get it from. So this is a modern tape thing that's been sent to you. There we go. Look, ROM version. I can even tell you what version it is. 4.1 ROM. Testing bank one. Testing bank two. I don't know how many banks are in it. There's different banks in the in the plus two A's. Or a different model altogether. Plus 2B has minor revisions on the plus 2A, but it's still a reduced chip count kit, um, um, board, which causes incompatibilities, as we've seen already. And I think Rambo definitely showed that off as a, as a, as a, as a problem. So we've got diagnostics, dust diagnostics going on. Run a soak memory, memory test mode. Well, I hope it doesn't fail. I wonder how many banks of memory it's got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's five? There's no five. Do one, two, three, four, six, seven. It's passed. But where's bank? Where's bank five? That's so weird. Partial tests, lower memory. Oh, does it the lower memory? Maybe the 16k? I don't know. So test running inertia zero 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 two. Okay. Don't know what it's doing really. <laughs> I, I well, I do. I know what it's running through. It's running through the memory on the on the machine to check that it's actually it actually works. Four. Is it going to pass the five again? Got four, and is it going to go six again? Totally can confuse me. Six. Is that normal? Anybody know about these this ZX Spectrum diagnostic kit? Is that is that a normal result? Would you expect not to have a, a bank five of memory, or is it just a a a, a, pro, a thing with the program itself? Passed. I think it's just going to keep running now. By the way. Yeah, it's going to just do number three. Yeah, so it's just going to run round, round, round circles, checking the memory. Right, so I think we've passed anyway. We've definitely got 128k specy here. So that's great news. That's really good news. So how does this end up? I'm well, obviously a modern day program. End up on a John Menzies C C12 um, computer cassette. Don't, don't, don't understand that one. How does that end up there? Right, let's change it over. And then on the other side. In theory, we have one of the greatest 16K games ever written. Without a doubt, the greatest game ever written for a any any anything, realistically. Any you know, this is this is what, what for me this is what the, the the spectrum one of the spectrum sort of. Uh, that's taken a long time to rewind. 
That seems like a long rewind. Okay. One of my favourite games as well. Um, in fact, I, I love it so much. I think I have five copies of it. Um, no, it's not greedy. I just like them. <laughs> it's like backups. From my point of view, it's one of the greatest games. So, so you wouldn't want to lose it. Okay. Here we go. Here it goes. Jetpack! Ultimate play the game. One of the greatest games, as far as I'm concerned. You just you can't you can't beat a bit of jet jetpack. It's just simple, great gameplay. Um, perfect for the spectrum. Absolutely perfect. I would love for my collection to actually have the the ROM version of it, but I don't. Oh no, you can't do that to me. You definitely can't do that to me because we, we we love we love we love we love this. So we're going to do it again. We're definitely going to do it again. Me, I may not lord, but we'll give it a try. If not, we're going to do it from the. Uh, we're going to do it from the. Um, we're going to do it from my uh, ZX uh, Play ZX because it's definitely on there. I know that for sure. I think this tape's not very good on this side, unfortunately. Still want to know how that uh, that uh, uh, diagnostics program ends up on a on a tape that's clearly a number of years old. I don't even think John Menzies have made tapes in that long. I suppose it's possible that it was just an old, new old stock that's been knocking around. I certainly have a few tapes myself that I would call new old stock, so... I like the fact... I, sometimes it's a joy as well to know that these, you know, these tapes have been sitting on a shelf somewhere for years and years and years and years and years and years. Um, you know, in some cases up to 30, or th almost 30 or 40 years in some cases. You know, the whole 1982... I think it is, isn't it? Ooh, now testing me on memory. Yeah, but whenever it was, the Spectrum first came out, I'm sure it was 82. Um, but they've been sitting on shelves all that time. Oh, it's not going to load. Look, that's not going to load. No, knew that wasn't going to load. That was the R-tape error of Doom. The R-tape error of Doom. We love we love our tape terrors er, errors errors yeah we love those our tape things right okay where's the do you know something I don't have I, apart from that RAM test that's the only thing I've been able to load off these things thus far let me just let's pop in the old uh, um, system tape thing and let's give it a or the the old ZX play thing and we'll give it we'll give it a load because we're definitely going to play Jetpack if it's there we're playing it definitely playing it tonight Jetpack is the game that is going to get played if I can spell Jetpack. Jetpack play ultimate play the game one as I say still still to this day one of the greatest um, 48k game 40, 48k games 16k games ever I, I, I stand by that I still think it's one of the best There's, uh, there are other ones that, that, that are notable mentions though um, Sir Lancelot is a fantastic game from uh, Melbourne House um, if you want to have a look it's on my channel have a check it out um, uh, it, it is a really 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 superb game um, it's kind of akin to um, uh, Manic Miner but not quite the same a little bit tougher I think definitely tougher um, in fact one of the levels it starts you by literally you have to run to the to the right otherwise you get killed by the knight that walks around in the place but yeah definitely tougher however to be honest with you fantastic game really good gameplay um, and really 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 enjoyable so so um, I do recommend Sir Lancelot it's one of the, my faves got a lovely case as well sort of with a blue Melbourne house sort of blue top corner at the top of it with a, with this sort of um, uh, cartoonified uh, knight charging sort of forward obviously being chased by 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 all kinds of nasties as they go along now i remember when i loaded this for the first time as a kid and i was just i do you know something what do you know what blew me away more than anything else because it was the first time and i got my parents like put it on the uh, on the television in the front room which was color and i put this on and it's a bit like attic attack for me these 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 games are they just th this loading screen. I was like, you know, I knew I was going to get the quality of game that was there. Though I mean, it's a little man shooting his laser. I mean, it's a la it's a massive long laser he's got shooting out of there. You just knew this is going to be a good shoot 'em up. It, it it couldn't be anything else other than a good shoot 'em up. It just you knew you were getting um, for sort of um, value for money. And to be fair, the cover as well kind of matched that kind of uh, that feel for me. And and and, and if I'm if I'm absolutely honest, this as I say, this is one of those games that that I. I love, um, um, and I, I think that if you're a Spectrum lover, you can't not love Jetpack. It, there's, there's nothing. It does exactly what it's meant to do. It works the way it's meant to do uh, do things, and it plays superbly. Gameplay being the key to any kind of game, modern or old. You know, you could write this today, I reckon. Um, 
well, I reckon if it never appeared back in the day anyway, you could rewrite or you could write um, Jetpack today with very similar sort of um, these style of graphics, you know, sort of um, uh, sort of nice pixelated sort of spectrum graphics. I reckon it would sell because I think that the gameplay would be the thing that would, would, would make people buy it. Now, I'm hoping I can remember the, the keys. So, um, but we're going to go for it. So we've got a little man. He's there. Ah, I got the wrong way. And I can't remember just shoot. Let me shoot. Let's shoot. There we go. Right, so we've got a little man. I'll see if I can go the other way around because that'll be making life easier for me. There we go. No, it won't because I can't remember the keys. That's it. There we go. So we've got a little man here and he has to build up his little rocket like that first off, which is great. Now, now there is a modern day remake. It came out on the on the, the the Xbox 360 and it came out on the PlayStation 3. Um, however, and I bought it, uh, I'll admit it, and it has come, it has reappeared with the Rare Collection, which is because Rare, of course, um, is Ultimate. Um, it appeared with the Rare Collection as well. You could actually play the Spectrum version and the remake um, on the Xbox One. To be honest with you, it's good on them. It's nice to play it again. However, the specy version is just just amazing. And I know you could you could kind of turn off the the, the remake for elements of it and make it the Spectrum one. Um, but but that was do you know something? That's the only way to play it. This is the only way to play. Um, you know, uh, jetpack refueled as they called it, which is the remake. Because you've got to you basically you're, you're collecting fuel, fueling up your rocket. Once you fueled up your rocket. Oh, this is a brilliant game. You've got to admit this is a good game. If you're not, I, I can't, I can't believe anybody doesn't like this game. There can't be a person in the world that doesn't like this game on the spectrum. It really can't. It can't be. So you refuel up your rocket and then you flat blast off. And I think you go through four or five levels and then you get the next rocket. And see, this is the this is the bit. This is the bit that makes you keep playing. You see, because now it's just a case of collecting fuel, which is fine. Um, but this is the bit that makes you keep playing, right? You keep playing because after so many levels, you get a new ship. You get a new shuttle. You get a new sort of... It's no longer this sort of modern-day rocket thing. You get a new um, ship, and you've got to basically um, fill that one up and carry on. It's just brilliant. And it keeps going until there's a modern-day one and, 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 a, and a futuristic one. And it just... It just it, it, it keeps on giving, and then although it, you know you could say it loops and whatever else it is, it looks great. The color clashes there occasionally, but it it's been it's been nullified almost by the the, the, the the beauty of the way that this game has been crafted with the spectrum really in mind for it. Um, brilliant game. I can't you know, I, you, waxing lyrical here about jetpack. I mean, it's just a single screen shooting game where the platforms don't change and you just collect things and drop them in a thing. It just works, though. It really works and it really works well. And I love it for the fact that it works so well. Here we go. Last one. And get that in there. Doing well, you see, because I've now remembered how to play. I always just keep the fire down, by the way. And you see, and his fire looks very similar to what it did on the picture, I think. I mean, okay, it's fair enough. It's not rainbow-coloured, but it's certainly, it's that blasting fire. And it's really good fire as well. It's just, I mean, it's just like straight lines, but it looks cool. And it kind of makes that right noise. Noise. It's brilliant. Brilliant. I can't believe how much I love this game. Uh, you know, I, I really can't. I, I, you know, it's, it's just, just, just brilliant. So much fun. Oh damn! That was me getting cocky and wanting to take the the thing down. I want to get to an, I want to get to the next stage. I want to get the stage where we've, we've got uh, the non things. I always find standing in the top corner, by the way, is the safest location of the lot because it's kind of tucked away from everything. I think I think that the developers of the, of this game, I I think they probably didn't start with these platforms in the game. I think they probably started with with just a you know a solid or an empty space and then they discovered it was probably a bit hard like that and this is this is what makes gameplay good you know it was probably a bit hard when you weren't tra when you were when you were trapped sort of with everything floating around and bouncing everywhere off you at, at all the time so so I think they put these things in just to give you that that little bit of cover it's not perfect because you can get still get hit up here and sometimes things escape through but you've got that little bit of safety that safety net damn it Let's go get this. Let's run it in. There we go. You've got that safety net that you've got there, of that little bit there. I mean, they are flying up there, if you notice. They aren't just, just doing what they're doing. This is my favourite level next. I can't remember. There's a one level where they just home in on you. I think that's really kind of cool. I like it. 
There's a lot of fire coming out of the bottom of your engines as you're landing. Yeah, these are the ones. They kind of they kind of home in on you. These ones, I like them because they're just kind of they're just they're just all purpose, like little missiles. Look, you can see them like homing in, and they know to go through the other side of the screen because it loops around. There they are. Look at them. They sometimes sneak through as well, which is which is the the part which is bad. They're like little homing dudes, little homing planes. Like paper aeroplanes gone mad. Or something similar anyway. It's a bit harsh landing on this planet though. It's a terrible planet. It's got all these things. Look at the high score though. Number lot of lot of zeros in there. So you can feel you feel like there's a lot to be done for it. This is perfect as well for, for gaming challenges because it it's it it, it, it very much it it, it it Oh god. It's perfect for gaming challenges because it's just the right level of uh, of difficulty at the same time as level of skill. It took me years, by the way, to perfect to get past these levels. Here we go. So this is the R Shuttle Two, which is more like something like you know uh, what is it, current current sort of shuttles that Americans use at the moment. You know what they call Discovery or that kind of thing. I remember these as well. Do you remember those? Those you know, as a kid, I remember watching the shuttles and things landing, and you know all the things to do with space. It used to be a big thing once upon a time. Nowadays, I barely watch it. You know, it's so commonplace for things to be in space, or maybe not things to be flying up and down, but but certainly ah, you horrible creatures! There, these ones are nasty. These little UFOs are nasty. Oh, I've got one life left. Let's see if I can see if I can, see if I can finish the level. Did you see that thing on the internet? And this is only this is uh, obviously this is uh, this is uh, um, topical as of as of this this now and this video. Um, but there was apparently there's a, there's a, some some people are trying to organise a a sort of charge at Area 51 in America, um, attempting to break into to the place. Um, and the, the the comment is they can't stop all of us. And I'm not entirely sure whether these people are completely aware of the fact that uh, this is the US military and they have guns. Um, <laughs> and they can't stop all of us. How many people are they going to turn up? If this thing turns out to be a sort of, you know, 10,000 people turn up to, 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 charge the, to charge the gates, it will be hilarious. But yeah, apparently they're going to charge the gates of Area 51 to, uh, to find out what's in there. Um, which is the most hilarious thing ever um and i do hope nobody gets killed in the process because they won't mess about when it comes down to it it's a military base at the end of the day um whether it's used for that or whether it's used for experimental planes you know i will not speculate on that uh, um yeah <laughs> yeah yeah they've definitely got all the guns they got all the guns these ones aren't so bad, actually, these, these dudes. Look at the number of sprites, though. We've got no slowdown, either. I mean, we don't. We don't have slowdown. We, and and the, the manipulation of my sprite, and the movement of it, is really good. I mean, he's got a bit of a funny walk. It kind of shuffles forward. But but it's really good with the number of things that are actually flying around on screen at once. Amazing stuff. You know, click that. And I think that's the last one. Yes, it was. And I've got another life again. I'm doing really well here for getting extra lives. I don't know whether the ship changes. I don't. I three screens, I think it is, isn't it? Three screens we have to go through to change the ship, and then we get something. It's some some different different things. We're on the uh, US U two. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember these. I used to call them the Millennium Falcons because if you look, they look like Millennium Falcons, don't they? A little bit from the side. I used to like this level for the Millennium Falcons. No. Oh no, I've got one life left. That's all. I'm the current life is my one life. Uh, stop. Yep, he stopped. This is a good game. This is a very good game. I haven't even got to the 90 minute yet. Oh, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Ah! I'm committing suicide here. 
I'm not entirely sure I really want to pick up the radiation signals. They can't, they're the symbols. They can't be that good. They're flashing for a start off. That can't be good. Any more fuel? Yeah, more fuel. There we go. And. And we're going for it. Yes! Still got one man left. I better forget the 20,000 points so I can, I can get an. I can get another dude. Another dude. Yes. There's so many great games on the ZX Spectrum. It's just a. It's just a. It's it's a. But to be fair, a little. Oh, there are a lot of eight big games where are what I would call a treasure trove of 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 quality products. I mean, there there are a lot of things that that were good on one machine and terrible on another. And because of the way that were developed, they were often developed in isolation, so they would be completely different between one machine and the other. Anyway, right, we're on to another Boots C15. So we'll pop that in now and see what we've got on this side. So let's see what. Zombie Bob has provided this time round. Right, okay. Uh, let's go for basic. Let's give it the old load dip dip, my favourite. And we're going for it. I can't believe I can't. Do you know something? We've we, we've not done very in the context of actually loading things. We haven't done very well because Rambo was a failure there. Um, we got Tapper loaded, which was good, but we had to do that from Z, um, Play ZX on the old um, Android. We got the RAM test loaded, which worked fine. Um, um, nice again, a modern thing. Um, then we had to. Then we did Jetpack. We have to do Jetpack. Oh, Scrabble! Everybody had Scrabble, didn't they? Everybody has a... T and I always love the way that it was two Scrabble loaders. There's Scrabble. And then there's Scrabble. In case you typed load Scrabble, but then typed in capitals in one location that made no sense whatsoever. Anyway. Um, and then we've had Jetpack, obviously, we've loaded from there. Um, and now we're on to Scrabble. We're going for that. We'll see what happens with Scrabble. We'll see if it loads. I think I've got about five or six copies of this. I, I think... I, 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 I bet it was re if you were a Scrabble player, I bet Scrabble on the Spectrum is like the easiest thing you've ever beaten. It's probably like playing chess on, against the computer. It must be incredibly easy on those early days because there's no way that it could um, have the moves or the, the or the relevant sort of databases to actually you know um, make them big enough that they you could actually I don't know beat somebody. So. Um, but you see, here's another interesting thing, though. If you look, software by um, um, Cyan, um, who disappeared, sadly. He used to make those little pocket things, didn't they, as well? Um, based on an analysis by Dr. Um, Tukan. Trukan. Not Trukan. Tru Tukan? Tur Turkan? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, him, that doctor there, he, he's done some analysis. So maybe he's just done, like, all the, 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 the words beginning with Z <laughs> that we all want. All the, the bigger words beginning with X. The, 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 for the extra word score, don't know. I remember playing this. I remember playing it, and 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 you know, my, and my my wife and my daughter sometimes play it, and I sometimes play it too with them occasionally. But it's it's kind of Scrabble, and this is one of the this is one of the for me these are one of the things that were really kind of the early games often were copies of board games that were successful. And it doesn't necessarily always translate. Okay, Scrabble does. I'll let that one slide. I'll let chess slide as well. But we don't notice we don't get dozens of chess programs nowadays either, by the way. I don't think I've seen a chess program in years, you know. PlayStation 4 presents chess. You know, can you imagine that? You know, the players just falling off the seat laughing at that. And the Xbox One chess. Microsoft's new Xbox. Um, Xbox chess tournament. You know, 17 hours of chess players <laughs> taking <Jake in> moves. <laughs> Streamed live. I don't think it would happen somehow. I don't know. <laughs> but, but that's where they came from, though. A lot of the original games came from, from those kind of things. You've got Reverse off Othello, um, you know, Scrabble. We've got... Um, but things... They were, it's when they were more... Uh, you know... The voice doesn't work. But you know when they when they invented things that, that weren't there originally, that's where we were at. That's what we wanted. We wanted we wanted something that um, 
awakened our imaginations, you know, stimulated them into life. That's what we really wanted. That's what we wanted from computer games. That's what they're there for. That escapism, you know, being the little pilot, you know, with the jetpack on, escaping the planet daily and over and over again. Or that, or maybe even the fact that it was a repetitive thing like jetpack there, you know, just doing the same thing over and over again, but the enjoyment was there by the different creatures and things that appeared, the change in ship occasionally, and then that ultimately that, that loop around and the satisfaction of knowing you be beat the beat that particular game or that you kept on going and you could go as far as you wanted, you know. Um I remember a game years ago my, my, my wife was playing, I can't remember its name. Um it was basically a, a matching game. You had to match animals up and, and, and do them in long chains of whatever else is. And she played it so well and so hard that the high score table couldn't keep up with how quickly it's because it was it was some of the animated high score tables. So every time you scored, sort of did these sort of rolling, um, you know, ones and twos and all this kind of stuff. Well, her score was so high when she played it that it quite literally, I mean, it it could not keep up. Um, to the point where we just left it at one point between levels and the high score was still scrolling up and 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 up in the end we had to turn it off because the score was going up that much but but yeah I mean that's the thing repetitive sometimes is good I mean sometimes repetitive games of nature are something we like I don't I don't like the word grind because it's not a grind if you enjoy it it's not a grind if you're if you're playing a game I mean um you take something like um, uh, Farmville. Is it Farmville? Oh, maybe not Farm Valley. Stardew Valley. That's it. Stardew Valley. There's a bit, quite a lot of repetition in there. There's a story to follow if you want to. But yeah, good stuff. Oh, it doesn't run. Oh, I broke it. Well, it was Scrabble. We're not going to worry about Scrabble. Let's see what else is on here. That's just well and truly broke itself. Don't know why it didn't load, but I'm not going to worry. Because, I, to be honest with you, I wasn't looking forward to play, like, putting Scrabble on because um, I would probably write rude words into it. Like Commodore 64. What an animal I am. Right, anyway. Um, let's go on. Let's see where we're at. No. Wouldn't write Commodore 64. BBC, maybe? Because we're playing with Spectrum CC at the moment. No. There's nothing else on this tape, is there? This side is empty. I can feel it. We're fast forwarding. It's definitely empty. Oh. Oh. Nothing left on that side. Let's swap it over to side A. And let's hope that we've got something interesting on side A. Oh. Rewind the tape a little. Turn the tape a bit. So it fits in the, the, the tape drive. That'll do. Rewind that. Right. Is anybody else in excited about the 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 new full keyboard um, Commodore C sixty four mini, um, but with a keyboard? I have to admit, I'm 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 kind of excited about it, but I'm kind of not because I've got the mini already. Um, yeah, but but I don't have the keyboard that goes with it. I'm guessing there's some real advantage to having the full on full size keyboard. I mean, it's a bit like having the Vega. I mean, the Vega Spectrum Vega was a was a bit difficult to actually load, you know, um, to to map keys. And if you'd had a full sort of specky keyboard, that would have been cool. You know, you could have actually pushed the right keys at the right time to do the right right necessary the right things. So yeah, um, I've got to admit, I, I quite like it. I do feel is this deja vu? So I'm guessing Scrabble didn't work on one side, so they put it on the other. Well, <coughs> ain't loading Scrabble twice, all right? Sorry, not going to happen. So we're stopping it now. Sorry, 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 Scrabble. So Scrabble on there twice. It was so good they recorded it twice. So, yeah, I quite like the idea. I quite, I think I think I do like the idea of the the new C sixty four mini. Was there any kind of other versions of it? I think there was, wasn't there? There was. There's been some 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 FPG. Is it FPG? FPGA, yeah, FPGA version to it, which basically means that it's a hardware emulation of a, a Commodore sixty four. I can imagine they would probably be a much more advanced um, sort of system than the, than than they're offering because I think it's emulation based on the on the C sixty four mini. Um, 
don't know. I mean, it's a bit like it's a bit like having a Zenith Spectrum Omni, which I have got, um, and that's 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 not quite, that's that's not emulation. That's that's actually hardware. Um, I just wonder whether or not the the you know I'm sure purist wise, it's probably not the way people would want to go with it. But uh, right, okay, here we go. Oh, quick snacks, some dizzy action. If this doesn't load though, how we, 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 you, you can look at all my channel. Because <laughs> I've played Quick Stacks a lot. It's uh, it's the story of uh, Dizzy's uh, uh, hunger. He gets the hunger one night and he breaks into uh, a fast food joint and then scoffs everything that he can get his hands on. Or is that fast food? That's fast food, isn't it? Why is two to do with food? Because Quick Stacks is something else, isn't it? Quick Stacks is about Dizzy eating food again. There's two food-related games in Dizzy. It's catalogue. Fast food is the one where he breaks into the... I've got this wrong. Fast food is the one where he breaks into the place. This is the one where he must scoff food to beat that evil wizard, whatever he's called. I don't know what he's called, but he does look a bit scary and mean. And Dizzy's having a good run away from him. It's probably raiding his larder, that's why. Dizzy! You've eaten from my larder again! Oh, he's casting fire at the back. There's fire and explosions behind Dizzy. What do you do, Dizzy? I suspect Dizzy's into terrorism. He's blown up his larder. There's explosions in the background. Why is he wearing a cap? Why's Dizzy got a cap on? Where did the cap come from? Does he work in a factory or something? Is this something he does do? I'm just so, so confused now. What did Dizzy... Why does Dizzy have a cap on? I don't think I've ever seen Dizzy with a cap on before. I wonder if this is the entire Dizzy collection on this tape as well. It is a C90. This could take a bit more time, you know. I'm hoping you're relaxing. I hope I hope you all get a drink beforehand, because these are quite long, you know, or at least listen to the to the to, to, to my to my voice in the background, you know, you don't have to watch the pictures because I mean to be fair, it's a loading screen, you've seen a loading screen, you've seen a loading screen, haven't you? I mean, didn't we all as kids go away and get a juice while it was running or something similar? I know I did. Sometimes and then if it crashed you'd be like really annoyed, you could be like, Oh no, my game's broken But but anyway, you know, so so and then you have to load it again. But yeah, you go off and get a juice. You know, one of those. What was those ones? Oh, the Soda Streams. That was it. Yeah, my mate used to have one of them. It's just like it was like we were like we was like what Soda Stream we're gonna have today? We're gonna have the Iron Brew or the or the Cream Soda, American Cream Soda. God, does anybody actually like that? It's all right, but what is it? What's the flavour? Is it meant to be vanilla? I think it's vanilla, isn't it? It's like ice cream, but not like as good as ice cream. Yeah, I had some fiery ginger beer the other day. I didn't like that at all. It was horrible. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, you'd have your cream soda, wouldn't you, while you were waiting for it? You'd go and get to go or get your soda stream on and do that. Do they still sell soda streams. I bet they do. I bet they're not very popular nowadays because I bet you could buy a bottle of pop a lot cheaper than you can buy a bottle of the the soda stream liquidy stuff and the the glass bottle you used to put in there that turned round to, you know, you insert it and you push the thing up and you push the button and it carbonated the water. But for like, for, for, and by carbonated the water, I, I, it was like thirty seconds. You know, you'd left, you left, you, you got your carbonated, <laughs> carbonated juice, and it puts the carbonated bubbles in it. It's hilarious, really. And you get it, right? And if you put it on the side for like five minutes, by the time you got to it, all the bubbles had already gone because it only carbonated it like for a short length of time. It wasn't even, it wasn't even a long length of time. Seriously, so, do you know? Think about how, how almost. Has somebody, anybody got a soda stream? If you got a soda stream, put it in the comments below. Have you still got one, right? But think about how ridiculous a soda stream is at the end of the day. Quite literally, the most ridiculous thing ever. It carbonates water or juice or whatever you put into it. It carbonates whatever you put into it. For the cost of the carbonation and a thing and whatever, you can probably buy it cheaper. In fact, multiple times over, some other way. We were, God, we were brainwashed in so much stuff in the 80s, weren't we? You know, soda stream. Oh, my God, that's just, that's just destroyed my childhood, that. Oh. That's finished anyway. So we've got quick stacks. I think there was probably a 128k version on there because I don't hear music and I think I've loaded it without the music. So we'll redefine the, redefine the keys. Number one, two, fire to start. Oh, 
I'm redefining the keys at the top of the keyboard. Hadn't realised I was doing that. Let's try that again. And cute quit when paused. Right, okay, number one again. Key for up. Up. Down. I wasn't reading the screen there. Uh, right. Left. Fire. Pause. Does everybody else use H for pause? Right, okay. Fire start. Yeah, it is. I've played this one before. Yeah, it's Zax is the name of the wizard. Who's, uh, um, let's, let's just go for that level. And so you have to eat these in a specific order as well. So you're meant to eat them red cherries at a time. Um, or the flashing cherries at a time, like that. And you get bonus points for doing that. And you can crush these, these penguins by rolling over. It's bad without the music, actually. I didn't realise how quiet it was without the music. So the 48k version, because I didn't know what we were loading, of course. You never do, really, with these games. 48k version, it's just not much, not, not as much fun without them. It's not as much fun without the music. I think I'd have been quite disappointed if I hadn't had music. I mean, it's not... It's not Quick Snacks is not a bad uh, not a bad game, actually. I mean, it's because it's got that puzzle element to it. It's not awful. Um, I, I, I and and I, I quite I quite like quick snacks. I think I played it last time around. And I was quite I was quite okay with quick snacks. There we go. There's a, there's extra things, but again, he's still wearing that hat, or is it or is it a two pair? That's that's uh, a two pair, I think. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, you get, you get these little sort of level sections in between. It's so weird being so silent, though. It is. It's a bit weird being silent. Ah. Yeah, you don't get as many points if you don't eat them in order. You get extra points for eating them in order. Uh, uh. What's that do? Ah! I'm digging I'm dead. Yeah, game over. Yeah, Codemasters 1990. This is a very late on game though. This is the, the you know the Commodore Amiga was already in full swing and had been out for a year by then. I think a lot of us have moved on to that kind of thing. So um, I always feel very sorry for my Spectrum when it came down to it. Um, I'm going to put the loader on. We'll see what happens. Now, that's the extra music if you've got the extra music for it for the game. Um, I did always feel a bit sorry for the Spectrum because I mean. Unfortunately, mine. I mean, I've said this many times before in my, my my sort of chats about things that mine was sort of you know given away. Unfortunately, um, but I'm just gonna load it. That's a lot of loading extra, isn't it, for the for, for the one to eight k version? Yeah, mine was mine was taken to a car boot sale and got rid of, and uh, I I kind of miss it. I miss the fact that I had the original one. I have a little rubber key now. Um, I've fully customised mine. Mine's orange now. It's got an orange case in it and glowing keys. Um, but uh, that's probably wasn't wasn't quick snaps actually. From the sound of it, there must be a gap here somewhere. Could be quick snacks. Don't know. It's maybe one of these tapes, you know, when I was a kid, we had a lot of these tapes with long compilations of lots and lots of things on it. It may actually be that case, but I don't know. If that's the case, this could be a very long video. With you. You're looking at two hours plus. But I don't I don't think it's going to be two hours plus, honestly. I don't think it is. We're just passing over an hour or so now. We have silence. We have silence. Lots of silence. Top 40, maybe? Steve Wright doing the, the top 40. Was Steve Wright in the, in the 80s? I think he did do a lot of them, didn't he? I always think this weird. When you get a C90 and you just put on, like, one game. As I say, mine would absolutely chock her mine with compilations. Compilations and compilations and compilations. We were just terrible for 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 for, for uh, you know making uh, copies of things. 
Very naughty. Do apologise. Fast forward in here. I'm going. We're going to get. We're looking. I'm looking at the tape. I'm pushing the button. I think from where we've I've, I've fast forwarded to, we're almost halfway through, and we haven't had any more sounds. No, we don't. Doesn't look particularly good here. Don't think we've got anything else on here, which is a bit of a shame, actually. As I say, C90 with 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 like one game on it, quick snacks. I should have done the one to eight K version. Didn't realise that. This is a bit strange, quick snacks without the music. I think it's probably one of the things that makes it. And it's not a bad game, as I say. It's not a bad one at all. I can, don't mind quick snacks. Right, I'm flipping the tape over because 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 we're ha more than halfway through there, and there's nothing on it. So let's get the rewind button, and we'll get back to the beginning. We'll see if there's anything on the side two of this. I don't know if there will be. Um, and we've still got um, chaos to go, um, and we have that um, Zyumph. Zyumph. I'm going to go with Zyumph. Zyumph. From Mirrorsoft. Mirrorsoft made a game that I really liked recently. If you've not seen it, have a little look at it. Dynamite Dan. I really liked that game. It was just... I can't believe I missed it and I haven't got it for the Spectrum. I can't even believe I haven't got a Spectrum. I say that. I've probably got it in a box somewhere, which I haven't gone through. Because I've got, I've got three boxes of tapes. I mean, like, full boxes of tapes. You know, um, that I haven't been through. I bought them recently and I haven't done anything with... And then got the lovely, lovely Zombie Bob's lovely owner, Andre, sent me yet more tapes that I can add to that pile. That I actually haven't gone through, but anyway, the plan is tomorrow um, to, to, to go through them with my daughter. And we're going to have a good old rummage round and we're going to try and sort them into orders. Um, have a bit of a thing at the moment about um, the, the virgin tapes, the blue, the, the blue and pink ones, or the pink and blue ones, whichever you want to look at it. They, those ones, those ones that were all pretty, I have to admit, they were pretty naff, most of them. They weren't very good, but, but I have a thing for them at the moment. I also like the Silverbird range, which was the pink and the black striped ones. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's a pink thing, by the way. I just think it's a. I just like the just. I just like the the the, the tackiness of them because I also like Century. Um, they do them as well, and Omega. They to just have such eighties feels to them. It was like you know. This is what a tape should look like, and they're just, you know, they're like lines going funny directions. Those sentry ones are very, there's like a yellow and red, and I think, and, and some black lines on it. They're just horrible. They look awful. They really do. I'm surprised anybody ever picked them and bought them. Same with the Omega range. They're, they're exactly the same. There's not even any pictures. They're just awful. They look awful. And that's what drives me to them. They're just so awful. That that you 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 can't help but go yeah I like that it's just that awfulness of that eighties um you know uh, styling that just 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 ah oh, awful 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 there's nothing so far on this tape I'm fast forwarding it a bit you haven't even got any top forty yeah absolutely awful but brilliant at the same time love it love it. You know, and you remember those early Firebird games, the Firebird ones, where they were just grey with a picture of a screen on it, and there was like one screenshot of the whole thing. That was to get screenshots. Well, those screenshots in the centre of things are the reasons why I bought Booty and Mr. Freeze. They were they've been brilliant. I didn't need a fancy cover, and I know they changed them later to sell more. They put the rebranded them and put new covers on them and all this kind of stuff. Didn't need it. Did not need it. I, I bought them anyway because I think uh, deep down I was always a lover of those 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 naff covers and those terrible things. I kind of kind of half expected them to be awful, and that, and they were, and it was brilliant. That was the best part about them being brilliant. You know, they were just so awful. Anyway, there's nothing on this other side of this tape. I'm I'm, I'm doing I'm go, a damn good fast forward here and see if I can get any music or something like that. So we've we've basically got. Quick snacks on that. I love that last one where we just literally had two copies of Scrabble. That was just brilliant. It's like a backup in case the other Scrabble didn't work. No, and we're definitely we're definitely in the clear, guys. We are we are we are in the. Uh... No, definitely not. 
definitely nothing on there. That's just horrendous. I can't believe it. I was hoping for something exciting on there. I was hoping for something else. Considering that was a 1990 game, we could have had anything from the 1990s. It's drawing to a close on the old Spectrum front in the sense of new stuff. Um, however, there are many new games now. Brilliant new games. Um, 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 Mr. 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 Andre here sent me some of those as well, so I'm looking forward to trying some of those out. Right, so that's the end of, 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 of the uh, Zombie Bob special as such in the sense of the, the, the tapes that I've got. This is a beautiful tape, this Memorex, actually. So lovely and clear. I didn't realise how beautiful that was. Anyway, I, I, I do love seeing through the tapes. I think it looks really good and so clean as well and tidy and it's not scratched or anything. Anyway, that's so sad that I really like that. Anyway, here we go. So we're going to go for it now. This is this is us on to um, Chaos from Julian Gallup. And as I said before at the beginning of this thing, this is the game that uh, my friend would literally not leave my house until he could borrow this for the night. Um, I had the original one. Well, I said no. Would it have been? I came out this was a Firebird game. It was Firebird, and I had a picture of sort of things appearing, sort of a monster, a batch of monsters. I remember it's sort of blue, dark night on the front of it, um, and uh, Chaos was was a was a was a was a phenomenally good game. It was it was a turn-based wizard strategy, and then and it spawned another one. I don't think it was called Chaos though. It was something else. Um, it also then went on to do. Um, uh, Laser Squad, which is a fantastic game. There's Rebel Star out there, which I would love to get a copy of because I haven't, I haven't actually got one. Um, I would love that. It'd be a game that I'd really like. Um, I've tried, on, I've tried numerous times on, on 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 eBay to outbid people, but people always go nuts over Rebel Star, and I can understand why. It's a, it's a very good game. It's not, it's not rare as such. It's just very sought after. I, 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 I give this. Uh, I, get, I, I hate that sort of um, look rare, you know, that, that whole thing where it's rare, it's rare. It's not rare, it's sought after. I mean, Jetpack is, is sought after. I wouldn't call it rare. I wouldn't stick an advert up saying it's rare. It's definitely sought after. It's, it's, a, it's a popular game, so the price would be higher. Um, and Rebel Star is one of those. And, and it's this sort of turn-based games that, that then spawned... Um, I think Julian Gallup was involved in it. He's involved in quite a few things, actually. I think Julian's was involved in um, XCOM and he's been involved in a few others and there's something else coming out recently which he's kind of moved off to do instead of continuing with the XCOM saga as such he's, I don't think he's responsible for that saga anymore or, or involved in it but uh, yeah there's, there's, he, this, this, is the, this is the guy who le- sort of taught us that turn based um, was, 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 was good I mean I said discussed this before about board games you know, they we didn't want board games, but some board games we did, because this is strategic sort of. This is doing the maths of of all things like Dungeons and Dragons and the maths of 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 of, of various other games, if that makes sense. So this is doing all that mathematics that goes with it, all that things. You know, calculating the rolls of the dice and you know, know what your statistics are and you know the probability. And that was quite good because that's the when board games were all right. I mean, emulating rolling a dice and moving around a board like in a game of Ludo. Who cares? But emulating the the you know clash between a, a giant and a and a, a, a horde of zombies in chaos, and that is interesting because that means you don't have to do the maths that goes with it. I have a game, um, uh, Starfleet. Oh, I can't remember it. It's the, the full name. Starfleet Command, I think it is. Um, it's a it's a it's a role playing game. Uh, it comes with a gigantic hex, uh, hexadecimal sort of star, not hexadecimal. Um, you know hexagonal board squares all over it um, and the maths involved in it is phenomenal about shooting a Klingon ship from a direction to the amount of you know hull damage it receives and what happens with disruptors and the effect on the crew the the damage that uh, right so they took that game that Starfleet command and they changed it into a PC game where it was played on the same sort of you know level of whatever else it is in the board and they took out all the mathematics of it and what a game that was. Um, it was a fantastic game because they took out all the difficulty things. However, to say say that, don't mind playing the board game version of it. It's still a particularly good game when it comes down to the actual board game itself. It's still a good um, a, a system. Now, we're not going to play this for long because it's, cause it's a very long game. And, I, and, and I'm, I'm very aware that if you've been sat for now for nearly an hour and 15 minutes... 
you're about ready to 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 to, to go to the loo because this isn't the Avengers, all right? No end game here. Um, so um, let's choose the number of wizards. So this is the number of wizards that are involved in the game. Now you could actually play this with your friends. You could play up to eight players at the same time. You must have a minimum of two, obviously, because you have to fight against somebody. So I'm going to choose four. Right. Uh, level of computer wizards. I'm going to go with one, so they're easy, not particularly bright. So this is going to be me. Right, computer controlled. No. Uh, you got to choose who you are. Now, I always felt that there was actually a method to this. I think there was something different to what you chose. If you went with number eight, you almost always became a wizard with melee powers, so the ability to attack things hand to hand. If you went with one, he was more uh, magic akin. So, so I always felt that there was something to this. You know, which which wizard you chose. Um, so, so I often chose number one because I think he looks cool. And by the way, that is can, kind of the icon of, of of chaos. You can get this for mobile phones. It's free as well. Um, you can you can get this for um, Android phones. Right again with the colours. I always felt that this was a factor as well. There was some scale to this. As a kid, I always felt that that you know choosing a different colour wizard gave you different abilities. So if you went with eight, you were actually going to get more magic than if you went with one. So so, so I'm going to go with six here uh, for that one. So I'm going to go this um, comp one. Can't call it that. Computer one. Comp one. Computer controlled. Yes. I'm going to make him the naff wizard down there. And I'm going to give him no powers whatsoever. Or right, that's what I think anyway. I'm probably completely wrong with that assumption. But I certainly thought it as a kid was what it was. Comp Two. Should have called it Comp 3, Computer 3, if that makes sense. But anyway, Computer Controlled, and we're going to make that number 4. And we're going to make him a number 2, because I like to make up different colours anyway. Comp 4, Computer Controlled, yes. And we're going to go with number 3, and we're going to go with number 3 for 3. Right, so this is your, the thing you've got. You've got, examine, you've got to examine your spells, and you can examine the board and other things. So let's do one to examine my spells. So you always have the disbelieved spell, which is brilliant, because you can when you've got things like goblins and orcs and um, zombies and fawns um, that, that are there, you can cast... Um, dis you can either cast them as illusions, which always hap always happen, and the illusions have the same powers and strengths as the original creature that you cast. Or you can cast them as uh, real, and if you cast them as real, then they can't be disbelieved. So the disbelief is quite a useful spell. It's a very powerful spell, in fact. So if somebody flies in with a dragon and goes, yeah, I've got a dragon. Actually, it's not a dragon. Boom. Instantaneously gone. Their power is gone. So there's some, some real advantages to it. So um, let's have a little look at some of these spells. So we have um, C which basically increases the law magic um, by casting it. There's a 50% chance of casting it, and I'd get it a magic sword. Um, magic fire is quite destructive. It takes over the screen, and what it does is it starts to um, uh, envelop anything that's close by it, and they die instantaneously. Nasty piece of work, that. G is an orc. Um, it's chaos. There's a 100% chance of casting it at the moment. It's got combat 1 and defense 1. So he's so got his movement allowance as well. So you can we can start building up our army here. Now, interestingly enough, we've got an L, a zombie. Now, I want a zombie because zombies are undead and can only be killed or attacked by the undead or magic weapons. So I'm going to go with that because the zombie is a very useful um, a, a attacking creature to begin with. So let's go with that. So I'm going to go with Z and I'm going to go select a spell because we're just starting the game. And I'm going to go with L. And I don't want an illusion. Illusion, no. And I'm going to continue to the board. I'll continue with the game. So here's me to cast my spell. And basically it's the keys around the S key for spell, of course. So I'm going to cast it over here. Because I want it to go downwards towards my enemy at the bottom. He's closest to me. So he's casting a magic shield, which failed. He was attempting to make himself more defensive. Oh, he's got a magic castle. Now, magic castles protect you forever, which is great. So, um, that's a bit of a problem for me. So, let's go here and move. And then we've moved him. And me, I'm going to move into the corner to stay out of the way. And Zero continues to the next person. He's moving towards me, and he's going to move into his castle. And he's going to stay there for the rest of the remainder of the game, by the way, to protect himself. Okay, so it's gone towards law. So I'm going to basically, I'm going to examine the spells again to see what I've got. 
um, and it's moved towards a law um, look of the whole thing. What do I want? I think I'm going to go with the magic sword and uh, make myself a bit stronger. We're going to go with that. And let's see for magic sword. And I'm going to do four to continue. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to cast the spell on myself. And it failed. That's a bit of a shame. 90% chance and it has failed. That's quite a surprise really. Okay. Oh, he's got an orc. But the orc doesn't stand up a chance basically against a zombie because the zombie at the end of the day is actually undead and it can't be hurt. So I'll move that zombie in to go and attack. There we go. And then that's me happy with my turn and I'm going to carry on and I'm going to carry on with the game. Right. He's going to move him across. We see we're all kind of moving towards each other. Some of us attacking and some of us not. The guy with the armour has got a good advantage there, being being sort of as strong as he is. So I'm going to try... I'm going to try and do something neutral here. I'm going to do Shadow Form. Now, Shadow Form, if I press I, basically um, it allows you to move three squares and become more defensive. You're not kind of here. You're a Shadow Form of yourself. So we're going to go with that one as a more defensive thing. As I said, I'm not going to play it all night, but uh, we'll give it a we'll give it a blast. We'll see if we can get somebody killed. It succeeds, and I now blink in and out of there. See, I blink in and out of uh, existence. Uh, he's put a magic fire in. That's no good. Magic fires only attack um, everybody else by your own people. Oh, he's got himself a Pegasus. He can get on that, and you can ride them. So that's useful. Harpy. Right, I'm going to move my zombie again, and now we're down. And I'm going to go to zero. Because I'm just staying out of the way at the moment. Because once you're dead, that's it. So their creatures will disappear once you kill uh, a, a particular... Um, um. There's a little bit of action going on here. They've decided that certain people of them are, are, more of, of, um, are more of a threat. I'm not so much of a threat. I'm going to select something else. I am going to go with... I'm going to really beef myself up here. I am going to go with... Oh, I might go with the magic bolt. You see the magic bolt there? We'll go with that one. That basically is a, a big weapon that I can fire from one side of the screen to the other. Um, and I should be able to hit him here from here. If I hit him an, enough and hard enough... Oh, he's out of range. Damn. Oh, he's out of range. I can't hit him. Can I hit him? Oh, no, I've made a mistake there. Can I do zero and cancel? No, I can't. Oh, I can't cancel it. I should have checked the range on that. If you press the button down, it tells you who's is who's, by the way. One, two, three. Oh, sorry, and four, yeah. See if I can hit his castle from here. Out of range. I have messed up here. Can I press zero to continue? Oh, can I hit my own zombie? My own zombie? Oh, I've messed up. I've just killed me on zombie because I couldn't hit anything else, so that was stupid. So I'm just completely useless here at the moment. The only thing I've got is a shadow form and, oh, unicorns. We basically see how the pings move around the board and how they do that. Now this is where, again, where I say board games, yeah, certain board games, rolling dice, moving around it, a bit boring. But anything where it's got mathematical calculations that takes that out of your hands and you can play with mates and turn-based it, that's really quite good. Um, I'm just going to end the turn. He's got quite an army going on there. So is that one at the bottom. He might... He's, nah, he's interested in the guy at the bottom. I'm not a threat at the moment because I'm not strong enough or I'm not showing enough strength. If that makes sense. Sometimes you open up the spell thing, by the way, and you have absolutely nothing. Um, I'm going to go with a magic knife. Hey, so I've got a magic knife as well, so I'm a little even more powerful. I haven't got the defense yet, but I've got the knife, so I might get myself a magic <laughs> magic shield and just go on a rampage and try and attack everything. It's worth a try. As I say, they've got this version on the... This is a tough one by the Hydra. Oof, that's a tough thing, creature. Oh, his ta castle's expired. Now, that's a good thing. Should we go on a, should we go on a rampage? Yeah, I've got a ramp. I'm going on a rampage. But if I can go over one of these, though, I think I can press I for information. There you go. So he can tell you about them, what they do. And if we go with this one, you'll see how tough this is. Watch this. Look at that. Combat 7, Defense 8. That's a really powerful creature. It's almost as powerful as some of the dragons. The dragons are amazing if you get them. Unicorns are pretty tough, too. 
Um, I'll just go over myself, for instance. I've got combat and of one, and I've got defense of three. But I've got a magic knife now, which is important because I can do more damage with that. So, anyway, let's let them go. So what they're doing? Oh, he's on. He's jumped on the centaur at the top there, so he can ride around on that now. And also, because it's a centaur, it can fire arrows, which is really cool. And you see the beauty of the anim dead animals as well, so you can resurrect them. It's a really quite good game, this. It's well worth having. Um, it's 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 good on a cover tape. I don't know which cover tape this was, actually. I'm just going to pop the tape cover here. Who, who, who had this come on? Came on Your Sinclair. Don't, doesn't have a date on it, does it? No, it doesn't. But actually, it really is. It's It's... As a board game's go, converted to something else, and I don't think it was a board game, so right. It really is a cracking game. This is kind of where he perfected his skills. Um, I'm just going to try the magic shield. And I'll go with that. I'm just so sad, aren't I? I'm just playing on. Let's succeed. So I've got a knife and a shield now, so I'm actually quite tough. Always put a goblin in. I'm going to try and attack something here. If I die, I die. Just, just might as well, for the hell of it. Nobody's died wizard-wise yet. I don't feel like I had a very good set of spells, if I'm honest. Engage enemy, yes. Oh, I didn't do any damage to him. Enough damage to him. Let's see if he can kill me. He might do. Magic knives allow you to attack the undead as well, because as a wizard you can't attack them without having magic knives or something similar. Oh, he's worried now, you see, because I've attacked, engaged him. Right, examine. Select spell, let's see what I can do. Let's cast a... Let's do a goblin. No, not an illusion. Four. Goblin of my own. Golden dragon. It's not real. No, he's going for a real one. The chances of getting them are slim. You really have to be one way or the other with them. You have to be like high or low damage wise. It's really tough. Green dragon. Yeah, I don't believe that. I'd hit that with disbelief next turn. Would not allow it to do any damage. Yes. We've killed that. Yes, killed that. Excellent. So we're getting closer to him. He must be worrying now. Oh, he's, he's, he's got my guy. I'm going to... Oh! I'm going to attack him on his horse in a minute, or his unicorn. That needs to be disbelieved, though, that thing over there. If nobody does it, I'm gonna, there's going to be serious trouble. Um, let's do B for magic fire. I'm going to see if I can cause some aggro of my own. No line of sight. There we go. Oh, he's got himself a shield. He's casting an orc. Oh, he's desperate to get me. I have lots of powers though. Vampire. Now this is another powerful character. There's a lot of powerful stuff coming from that guy in the corner there. Right, okay. Let's see if I can get him off. Unseat him. No, I didn't kill him. I think I might die here though. Let's we'll see what happens. Yeah, right. Orc versus dragon. Don't think so. There, I'm dead. That's the first thing. So my spells now disappear and the whole thing goes on. And the game then continues itself and plays and plays and plays and plays until it finishes. Which is quite nice because you can actually see how the, the whole thing turns out. To be fair, I'm surprised nobody's disbelieved that yet, though. Because that's those are two very, very powerful characters that are there. Let's go for a magic bow. Fails. That's really good, the magic bow again. Another powerful creature. That one failed. Why is nobody disbelieving him, though? I don't understand. Go for it. It's playing out quite nicely, actually, it did in a, in a game. But I just wanted to give you a flavour for it. This is one of those games, though, that you you, you know, again, as a spectrum only, you should have a copy of this. It's uh, again, it's not 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 uh, not not rare, sought after, very much sought after. I don't, 
I, I don't think certain. I think certain games they say they're rare, but I don't think they are. I think. Do you, did people throw garbage games in the bin that they didn't think that then became rare? Possibly. Um, whether or not there was a lot of them put down, I don't know. Subversion. He was trying to convert that to him. Now I see. I would have been convinced, by the way, that uh, that what dragon was was not, not a good dragon. If that makes sense, I would have thought that was a disbelief job. Mhm. Mm <laughs> it's going to die now. Him up the top corner there. It's just getting away with nothing, you know. He hasn't got anything left, spell-wise. He doesn't seem to. Why are you doing that? He's not, it's not real. Don't understand. The computer's weird. <sighs> Look at this. Wow. I can't believe he survived all that. That's a pretty tough guy. There he goes. Go and disbelieve it. Yeah, I could have told you it wasn't real. You let it do all that carnage and he didn't kill it. Oh, idiot. I'm watching this now and I shouldn't be really watching this. Should we go for the next game? We should be going for that um, um, Ziumphum or whatever it is. Ziumph. I'm really enjoying that, actually. I was, oh God, it's been years since I played um, played Chaos. It's a really good game. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. But but yeah, what a great game, Chaos is. So good, so worth playing. It's as I say, it, you can get it for for the Android devices. It is free to download and free to play. Um, looks almost identical, um, and it's still a classic game. I'm going to put this to one side and play this later. But anyway, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Oh God, I feel bad now for stopping that there. Right, let's put the load, let's put the basic on. And let's do, I see, I need a copy of it, I haven't got it. It's the Firebird thing. I think, I think as well, I think it's one of these stupid price things as so well. Sought after, not rare. Um, and I just think it's one of those really sort of <laughs> stupid price for no good reason. No good reason whatsoever. Right, let's go for this one, see what this Mirrorsoft one is. As I say, I was quite pleasantly surprised by the last Mirrorsoft game I played. I'm really, really surprised. It was really, really good. Um, so... Oh. I'm hoping for something s s pleasantly surprising this one as well. I'm hoping that's going to be the case. I wonder if we get a loading screen or not. We didn't for Chaos, did we? Chaos is brilliant though, wasn't it? Oh. Oh, black and white. Interesting. Okay. Somebody's taking a style thing. There's definitely a, there's definitely a screenshot coming up here, by the way. You can tell by the sound. Always tell by the sound as a specky owner. You can almost always tell. However, to be fair, was it the sound or was it the fact that it done the initial sort of then that bit? You know, you kind of knew because you you got to the same point. Maybe, maybe that was the reason why. I don't know. There we go. The screen's now appearing, and it's crashed. Don't do that. We can't crash for the last one. Should we try it again from the tape, or I think what we'll try and do is we'll 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 see whether or not it's on ZX Player, um, and if it's on ZX Player, we'll load it from there because I think that 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 just saves us any kind of grief and aggravation for that final final tape of the of the of the, of the or final game of the of this mammoth mammoth zombie bobs um, special. Um, so it's been a it's been a oh yeah, found it. Wow, it's a monster. Right. Okay, and um, push the play button. Push the load dip dip. Let's push the play. 1986, according to this here. Mirrorsoft. No idea what it is, never played it. So we'll give this a try right now. I can't wait to give that chaos another go. Though. I'm so sad, aren't I? I mean, it's sad, just that's, that's a really cool game. I didn't even know I'd still got that, you know. I'd looked through my box of things and I thought I didn't think I'd got it. Look at that. This Play ZX is just an absolute godsend, isn't it? It really is. And, you know, um, especially if you enjoy the experience of loading tapes, and I certainly do. I think loading tapes is one of those. Oh, it's just the, the the anticipation, the 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 excitement that goes with it, the 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 the, the, the feeling of nostalgia, that and that first taste of that new game, the one you haven't played before. 
You know, that, that, that's, that's what this is about, you know, that kind of going up to it. And I have no idea what this game is, and I'm really hoping something good, as I say, because Dynamite Dan was a fantastic game. I was quite excited by the whole thing, you know. A really good game. I'm hoping this is going to load properly. Oh, look. A special loader. Look in the bottom corner there. Programmer David O'Connor. Mirrorsoft 1986. Looks like... Do you know, what's that name of that... Pro oh... I want to say Xanadu, but I don't think it is Xanadu. It starts Sean Connery, and basically he ends up going inside the... You know, he's like a savage as part of the savage village, and, and he spends most of the time with a ponytail and a bald head. It's a bit, it's a bit bad. I'm a, sorry, Sean. Um, but it's a bit bad. But but spends most of that movie like that, and he, and he runs around sort of... And he gets ends up getting into this, like, big, massive head, rock head. Anybody know what I mean? Put it in the comments below, because I can't remember exactly what... I'm sure it's Xanadu. But it might not be. And it's kind of... It's like Wizard of Oz kind of thing. He discovers that the big, he massive head the, is actually uh, man-made. It's some of the higher class that basically have this lower class doing whatever they want. And it's just kind of weird. And he's, he's like, seen as a savage. I don't remember much about the movie. I just remember that it was, it was Sean Connery just running around in leather pants for some reason. Or leather thongs of some sort. It's just a bit weird. And I remember that sort of thing. And just these thing, strange things stick in my head from things like that. And it was kind of, you know... the Oh, hail the master, you know, provide us with your crops. And I think it was just the, basically the upper classes keeping the lower classes in, in check. I think that was the, the general gist of it. And I, I'm, I may be wrong. You can you can always uh, you can always uh, <laughs> correct me in the comments because that's what they're there for. Um, tell me when I'm wrong. <laughs> so, um, but, uh, yeah. Now, I'm interested to see what this is, though. I, mean, it, it, I, I don't know. It just looks... Has he got a big pile of gold in front of him, maybe? Maybe that's what he's doing. Maybe he's maybe he's worshiping at some altar. It's very hard sometimes about the instructions. And as I say, the anticipation of loading. One of the things you did with that loading time was you read the instructions, got the inlay out, and you read the instructions, and you read them again, and then you passed them to your mate, and they read them, and then they read them again, and then they passed them back, and you read them again just in case you hadn't got everything, and you passed it back, and you ummed and ahed about it, and then you sat there and chatted to each other for five minutes, and it was like oh, like a load of screen kind of thing, and then you were uh, you, you then and the game started. And to be fair though, the Spectrum was quite a fast loader. I mean, I, I, many people talk about oh, 20 minutes and all this kind of stuff. Specky was never really that long. There's a few games that are out there that are, but on the scale of things, you know, um, they're not that bad, they're not, they're not bad loaders, there's some good ones, some bad ones, I mean, good old jetpack we loaded before, that took no time at all, even that ram test thing, which was a full utility, didn't take that long to load, so there, there are things out there that don't take that long to load, so, so they're not too bad at all, let's have a go, can't wait to get this up, look at this water. I, don't, I feel I'm not going to look at my mobile phone because it feels like cheating if I look at my mobile phone to find out how long it's going to take till it finishes. We just need to go until it finishes. Not sure about the loaders where they just make it in the corner of the screen though. Do you, yeah, I, I kind of I like the bar borders around the edges. I'm just I'm, I'm really kind of sad I like those. I think because they're there, they're there. It's the same with the countdowns. I don't like those as much either. I don't, I, just, I, I don't mind the countdowns being there, but I do miss some of the things there. Ooh. We've got music. Bit weird music, but we got music. Uh, can I use space for fire? M for bombs. Jump. Left. Right. H to hold. E to quit. Okay. So this could be interesting. I don't know what this is. Okay. Oh, some kind of little... It's a run-along scroller. And I can do big, big jumps. I'm like... I obviously, the guy who, in the beginning, I'm like stopping these guys doing whatever I'm doing in the ice mountains. I'm jumping over these. Oh, no! I fell down the pit of doom. There we go. Jump over this. And then, big jump. Oh, I've got killed. Got killed. Right. I've got levitation. 
That's not too bad. It's not. It's no Dynamite Dan, though. It's no Dynamite Dan. Brave Crest is over. Oh, dear. We'll give it another go. If you hold it down, you can jump further. But it's, there seems to be... The, the drawback seems to be that you can't... You know, you've got a... You've got a uh, ice Mountains. Seven minutes. I hope that isn't how long I've got to play the Ice Mountains for. So... They seem to have unlimited firepower, which is good. You've got a limited number of bombs. And, uh, the bombs are good, because you can obviously use them. Um, oh, big jump. Bomb. That's the way you have to use the big bombs, I think. Right, I'm jumping. Oh look, it's, it's on the bottom of the screen, there's a little arrow going along to where I go to. So that's me in the ice mountains now, right? And it's got a distance thing to get from one side to the other. Look, you've got the thing at the bottom. Your quest is over. I'm press the space bar. Look, see I'm moving across there. Oh, I'm just fell in again, what an idiot. That's not too bad, actually. Tough. I think that the spawning of the creatures is a bit harsh. Oh, a bit harsh. They kind of some of them are speedy, and they that once you've got the speedy ones behind you, you've had it. So, um, yeah, quite. I don't. I don't mind that. I don't dislike that at all. I know that's not probably a da that's not a massive endorsement, but actually, that's not too bad. I quite like that. Quite a nice, quite a nice, uh... Oh, I, d I can walk across that. I didn't realise that. I keep jumping those, and I probably could, don't need to. I probably only need to jump the... Probably only need to jump the, the pits that I've just dropped in there. I can hear it. Probably only need to jump them. I can probably walk across that, can I? Oh, that automatically makes you jump. Oh, right. That's weird. That makes it automatically jump. I quite like it. I quite like the graphics as well. I think I think they're okay. Not a game I've played before, but I quite like that. I think I'd have been delighted with this uh, cover tape. I definitely didn't get it back in the day because I would have remembered these two. Definitely, I'd have remembered the fact that the chaos is there. And to be fair, it's probably a more a crash buyer. Probably bought more Crash magazine than I did anything else. So um, you can't jump in the swamp. I've just discovered that. Immunity. I have immunity. Oh no! Oh god. Oh, you idiot. I jumped it and then jumped back again. That was immunity that I picked up there. That little. The. The. the um. The cross on the ground was immunity. Yeah, that's alright, actually. It's not too bad. No. No. Not, not massively brilliant, but I can see myself playing that because that. It's definitely doable. It's definitely one of those games where you feel like you can actually do it. Anyway, um, that was what's on the tape, and that was the uh, Zombie Bob's um, um, uh, Emporium of Old Tat um, special. I'd like to thank Andre for the tapes, um, and um, I've been your host, Real Generic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe. Please comment below, um, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, cheers now. Bye.